I am Detective Gary Stidham, DSN 1358. I'm assigned to the homicide section. I'm presently in the television section of uh, the police academy. Uh, present with me is uh, Detective Joan, correction, police officer Joan Glover, uh, DSN 3474. She is assigned to the 8th district within uh, the confounds of Area 3. Uh, present with me is Crystal Thomas. Uh, the technician operating this equipment is one Robert Steckin, uh, DSN 1753. We are here this evening to discuss an incident, and that incident being the fatal shooting of one Travis Smith. Uh, this incident occurred March 19th, 1994 at or about 2.15 a.m. in the area of 4371 Finney. Um, it's been during the courses of the, this uh, special investigative team that we learned uh, through information that Crystal had some information regarding this incident as uh, she was present uh, when this incident occurred. Um, prior to our, our arrival at the television section, uh, Crystal, uh, Troman Glover, and, and I had spoken or actually talked about this incident in, in depth. So we are here this morning, uh, the correction this evening, you know, that she can uh, give uh, the statement to us. Crystal, would you state your name and your date of birth for me? Crystal Thomas, 12-25-67. Okay, uh, you live in the city of St. Louis? Yes. What's the address that you live at? 4012 Fall. Okay. Uh, are you currently employed? No. Okay. Fine. Okay. Um, as you recall, yourself, uh, Patrolman Glover, and I had sat over in the homicide office and we had talked about this incident. So why don't you start uh, from the beginning, as you did uh, over in the homicide office about this? I'll do the date. Hmm? I'll do the date. Okay. I came to Paige and Taylor. Went to the liquor store, sat in the park. It was about 12, 30, 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We left the park. Went down Cook. To and when you say you, <coughs> excuse me, you went down Cook, uh, we were speaking in references that you walked. Walked. Okay, you. I walked down Cook. Okay, was that east or west? East. Okay, fine. Go on. Walked down Cook. Little Ron was coming west of Cook. I flagged him down. I wanted to buy some dope. You wanted to buy some dope? Narcotics? Right. So what kind of form of narcotics are we talking? Rock form. Are we talking about crack cocaine? Yep. Okay, so did you actually purchase any crack cocaine? Yes. Okay. What did you buy? A $20 lot. When you flagged uh, Laron, we're talking about Laron, uh, what is it, Hardaway? Hardaway. 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 Do you know him? Mm-hmm. Okay. And this is the individual that you're speaking in references to. Okay. When you flagged him down, what was he occupying? What was he driving? Brown, deep brown, four-door Cadillac. Okay. Who was with him? Him and three... Teenagers. Did you know any of these teenagers? No. Okay, were they all male, female, or mixed? Female. Okay, so it was a total of three females and Laron inside of a vehicle, right? Right. Who was driving? Laron. Okay, fine. So you purchased the stone. Right. What happened then? He seen a little boy ride down the street. Were you inside of the car at this time? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what was the purpose of you being in the car? To purchase a stone. Okay, uh, were you obtaining a ride from him? Uh, did he offer you a ride? or Did you uh, ask him to drop you off anywhere? No. You just got into the car? Mm hmm Okay, well, did you have a destination that you were going? Yeah. Where were you going? On Finney and Pendleton. Okay, did, was he aware that you were going on Finney and Pendleton? Mm-hmm. Did you tell him that you were I going? I told him that's what I was doing. Okay, so in essence, he gave you a ride. 
Yeah. Okay. So anyway, you purchased the stone. You're inside of the car. Where are you sitting at in, inside of the car? Back seat in the center, in, the in center. between two of the teenage girls. Okay, fine. So what happens then? LeBron said, I bet you $5, I won't take that bite. Okay, now, we're speaking in references to the young man that was shot, Travis Smith. Right. Okay, when you saw Mr. Smith, where was he, where was he at? Riding on the bike, coming down Feeney. Okay, now, again. <coughs> coming up Feeney. Okay, West on Feeney. Okay, West on Feeney. West on Feeney. Okay, now, where did he go after that? He stopped there. Lamar headed him off. Go south or what? Lamar headed him off. Okay, he headed him off where? On the corner of Finney and Newstead. You sure it was Finney and Newstead? You Positive. It wasn't further down. No. Mm mm. Okay, well, in the office, uh, you had indicated that Mr. Smith was riding south on Newstead. Yeah, south. On wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. On the west side of the street. I got my brand and stuff. Okay. Let me, let me do an illustration for you on the back of the sheet, like yeah. I did in the office. We know that this is a street like that. We also know that this is this here is CD Banks. This is Finney. And this is Newstead. As we spoke in the office, we, we talked about a fire hydrant right. that was there. Right. Okay, and you had indicated to me that Mr. Smith was riding his bicycle west on Finney and subsequently headed south on Newstead. Right. Okay, you said he got near this fire hydrant. He got near the fire hydrant, okay, right. Okay, and this is when uh, LeBron, LeBron come up from swung and around and swung around his path. and blocked his path. Okay. Come out on, from off the side of his coat. With the gun. Okay. Describe the gun. I don't know too much about guns. Was it similar to the one that I showed you? It was just like the one you showed okay, me. Okay. I, I showed you two different types of guns. I showed you... You showed me the one you got, and right. you showed me that was the, the black one. Okay. That was a blue steel Beretta. Right. Did the gun resemble that type of gun? It was bigger. Bigger? Okay. Fine. So, Leron uh, flourishes his gun. And uh, Mr. Smith, does he say anything to him? No. Your mind just snatched the boy off the bike. The little boy said, you can have the bike. I just bought the bike. You can have it. He started running. Okay, now which way did he run? Just ran straight. Okay. He ran from around the car. Okay, I want Headed to. Headed toward Newstead. Okay, we're on Newstead. I want to re refresh your memory, and you indicated to me in the house mm -hmm. once that he ran. He ran toward Finney. Okay, and he was on the east side of the street. On the east side of the street. Okay, is that what you told me? Yeah. Okay, so what did Leron do then? Leron pointed the gun and shot him. Did Leron say anything prior to shooting this pistol? He said the bastard did now. I believe you told me, no, you did tell me uh, uh, during the course of that conversation that uh, Leron said, quote unquote, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. The bastard did now. And this is when he fired? He fired the gun. How many times did he shoot? I stuff? heard four shots. Okay. So after the, the gunshots, what all did he do? Got in the car. Okay, now where's the bicycle? In the trunk. Did he put the bicycle in the trunk? He put the bicycle in the trunk. Okay, and then 
what did he, he do? Because he couldn't fit back there because it was me and two more of the girls in the back seat. So what did he do then? After he placed the bicycle in the trunk of the car? He looked back at the little boy. He said the bastard dead. Okay, again, I want to... Uh, uh, we're getting in front of ourselves here. You indicated to me that after he placed the bicycle in the trunk of the car, that he in turn executed a U-turn. He made a U-turn. Okay, and then that means that he was heading now north on Newstead. Right. Okay. You further told me that he, he made a U-turn to drop me off on Pendleton and Feeney. Right. I'm getting to that, though. You told me that he made the U-turn and went back north on Newstead, uh, consequently executing a right turn, traveling east on Feeney. Is that what you told me? Mm-hmm. Okay, you drove past Mr. Smith as he was lying on the ground. You did you see him lying on the ground? I didn't see him lying there. I was I was high. Okay. Were you were you so high that you uh, forgot something here? Were you so high that you don't remember what you saw? Okay, fine. You said, or stated to me rather, that as you were traveling east on Finney, that Laron said, quote, unquote, the bastard's dead. Okay? Is that what you told me? Yeah. Okay, and he subsequently drives drives uh, east on Finney, and he lets you out where? On Pendleton and Finney. Pendleton and Finney. Where does he go then? Towards his mother's house. Does he stop? I'm not sure. Did you see him stop, pull over? No. Okay. Do you know where the other three females that were, that were in the car went? No. Did you see them get out of the car? No. Okay. Do you recall ever seeing these uh, females before? No. Okay. Uh, did anyone call anyone by name? No. Okay. Did they call you by name? No more than my nickname. What is that? Grandmaster. Okay. Did, did they call you Grandmaster? Nope, he did. Okay. How long have you known <coughs> around? All my life. All your life? Yep. Okay. Um, did Laron speak to you after this incident? Mm-hmm. What did he tell you? He didn't tell me nothing. I had asked him about the bike. When was this? Sunday. Okay, that would be the following uh, the Sunday. The following day. That. Okay, that, well, that was on Saturday this incident was, so that would be... Sunday the 20th. Right. About what time? About 1.32 o'clock. Where were you at? On the bus stop. Where? Finney and Whittier. Okay. He approached you or you approached him? We approached each other. Okay. Who initiated the conversation as far as references to the bike is concerned? We both did. Okay. What was said? I asked him, I say, what happened to the bike? He said, I sold it. Did he say who he sold it to? He didn't say who he sold it to or nothing. Did he say how much he sold it for? Nope. Yeah, he said, y'all sold it for 150 I told him somebody had wanted to buy that bike. Did he say what, what area he sold the bike in? Some cat in the county. Okay. He didn't call this, this individual's name, did he? No. Okay. So you more or less were in the park at uh, Taylor and Cook. Right? Mm hmm And you had a date there. Mm hmm Okay. And at the completion of your date, you walked east on uh, Approaching Cook at Newstead is when you you see Laron. 
Mm-hmm. There's three other individuals in the car. You stop him and you speak in terms of purchasing a stone, crack cocaine, twenty dollars. Yep. You subsequently enter his car and you proceed to drive or ride with him. And this is when he makes a bet. Did he make the bet with you? No. Who did he make the bet with? One of the teenage girls. And where was she sitting at? In, 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 uh, in the front seat. In the front seat? Okay. So, Laron, in turn, uh, pulls his car in front of uh, Mr. Smith, who's now traveling uh, south on Newstead, and uh, corners him, uh, gets out of his car with his uh, weapon in his hand and snatches Mr. Smith off the bicycle. And this is in turn when Mr. Smith tells him that he just bought the bike, but he could have the bike. And Mr. Smith then proceeds to run. And this is when uh, Laron, in turn, fires at him four times. Uh, Laron then places the bicycle in the trunk of the car, executes a U-turn. Yep. He's now traveling north on Newstead and makes a right turn on to Finney. Looks at uh, Mr. Smith lying on the ground and says, the bass is dead. Continues east, lets you out at Pendleton and Whittier. Correction, uh, uh, Finney and Whittier. Is Finney and Pendleton. Finney, okay, fine. Let you out there and he continues on and you don't see where he goes after that. Okay, and then you see him Sunday at or about between one and two o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, you discuss the bicycle and its whereabouts. And he in turn tells you that he sold the bicycle for $150 to some unknown individual in the county. Mm -hmm. Okay, have you seen uh, Laron since then? Not since, nope. Okay. All right, do you have any questions? Crystal, is there anything else you need to add to this that we should know? Did you know uh, Mr. Smith? No. Okay. I showed you a photograph in the uh, homicide office. Uh, that was a photograph of a 10-speed uh, a mountain bike. That's the bike. Does that bike resemble that bike? That is the bike. I have no further questions, and we will conclude uh, this videotaped interview. Uh, the time now is approximately uh, 11, correction, 12, 13 a.m. Uh, today's date is March 23rd, 1994.